Is it a laptop? Is it a desktop? Well, no, it's not really either of those things. This is the Brother WP80 word processor from... Well, I'm not actually sure when it's from exactly. Some people are saying it's from the early 90s, but the software suggests mid-80s. Anyway, let's take a look at this interesting relic from the past. I came across this when someone down the road was throwing it out. I couldn't really pass it up as it looked really interesting and was in great condition. At first I thought it was an ancient laptop. However, after bringing it home and opening the front, I worked out that it was a brother electronic word processor. Turns out there isn't a lot online about this particular model. So I stored it away for a few years until now, where we're going to have to see whether it still works. Turning on the machine is pretty easy. Just one flick of the switch on the side and the black and orange CRT display comes to life. The software is dated as 1985, so it's likely made sometime around or after that date. I must say that this keyboard has a very nice tactile feel with a decent amount of travel. Could this possibly be an early mechanical keyboard? Well, no. After a closer look, it is in fact a membrane-based keyboard. It's also pretty cool that the numbers and letters on the keycaps will never fade as they appear to be injected right into the plastic. From what I can tell, you are able to save your documents to a single density 3.5 inch floppy disk via the built-in vertically mounted drive. Included with this system were four disks. One of those being a spreadsheet utility that has a copyright date on it of 1989, further leading me to believe that this machine was indeed built sometime in the mid to late 80s. I found a blog post stating this was introduced in around 1992. Hey, those photos look familiar. I wonder where they got them from. Anyway, let's see whether it can still print. It appears to use ribbon cartridges that can still be purchased on eBay. It took me a while to work out where the paper went. Unlike a conventional mechanical typewriter, it doesn't punch in the letters as you type. So I've written up a document, and providing I've put the paper in correctly, it will hopefully print. The first document seems to have just printed the letter E over and over again, without moving down a line. I did insert about five sheets of paper, so I'll try again with just one. So, this time I think I worked out how you're supposed to have the paper inserted and positioned properly. I also moved a small character disc inside that turns to change the number, letter, or character to be printed. This resulted in the correct number of characters and proper line spacing. Given that it once again only printed one character, I'd say the motor that's supposed to turn the wheel has stopped working. I tried fiddling around with the motor and it seemed to loosen up after a bit of turning. I made sure to put the character wheel back in in the correct position and, to my surprise, it actually printed the document correctly. So, there we have it. A functioning word processor that's around 30 years old. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. On screen are some of my other recent videos. I make these in my free time when I'm not working. I'll see you next time.